Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm here to talk to you about a brand new comic that's going to be releasing June 2nd, 2021 called Basilisk Number 1. And I'm going to let you know why I think you should be picking up this book. So to dive right into the comic, uh, it's going to be a new Boom Number 1. So that says a lot right there. Uh, boom Number 1s have increasingly gotten popular and popular since Berserker has released. I'm going to dive more into that in detail later. And it is described as a supernatural horror series for fans of Philadelphia and Stillwater, rooted in the way we process the world and our senses. Which I love both of those comics. I really like Stillwater. Chip Sadarsky does a fantastic job. And Philadelphia is so great as well. Um, yeah, uh, I, I honestly couldn't talk more about both of those. They both have been in my top 10 uh, throughout last year and this year. So very great comics and I'm interested to see where this one leads into the in-between of both of them. So the writer on this is Colin Bunn and I've talked about him a few times on my show. Uh, just how amazing of a horror writer he is. He's written tons of DC and Marvel comics, but honestly, his independent work is where he shines the most. Uh, he, I love his Aftershock books. Um, I'm a huge Aftershock fan of his. He's written like Dark Ark, Brother Dracul, uh, just to name a few. And he's written plenty of image books, Unearth, Regression. He's also dabbled in Boom uh, quite a bit, a little bit. He's done Bone Parish and Empty Man. And uh, one of his most popular indie com horror comics is actually Harrow County. And this is in the works for a TV show at Sci-Fi, which is very exciting because I think Harrow County is one of, if not the best, uh, horror comic that Bun has written. So I'm excited to see where this one will land on his tier as well. Well, and if it will get picked up for a TV show or movie as well, just like some of his other works. Uh, the artist is Jonas Scarf, and he's most recently drawn Avengers of the Wasteland. Uh, he's also drawn Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and War of the Planet of the Apes. But I know him most notably for working with Colin Bunn on the Boom comic called Bone Parish. And his art is super mysterious super super natural looking and I think that's where he really shines with working with Bun is because you can really get that depth with him with how smoky the clouds look and how the shading looks and I really enjoy them two together so I'm very excited to see their next boom comic and them working together. The synopsis for this book is so it intrigues me so much. So, who can stop the Chimera? Five individuals bound by a cult-like hive mind. They terrorize small towns with their horrifying supernatural senses-based powers, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Regan, one of the Chimera, escaped and has been in hiding with her murderous eyes bound over with guilt. Until now, when a victim from her past forces her to hunt down the other four of her kind. Basilisk is an epic dark fantasy horror story, and I can't wait for readers to meet the players on both sides of this tale of revenge, says Cullen Bunn when he first asks about Basilisk. Here we have a woman who has absolutely nothing left to lose, hunting down a group of would-be gods, each of whom can use one of the five senses to destroy those around them. They're terrifying in their own way, the heroes and villains, the heroes and the villains. And this, this was Bun talking in an interview when uh, they were asking him about this newest comic. He also says, In Basculus, we draw inspiration from mythology and ground it deep within the mountains of Appalachia as we follow a mysterious group of superpowered individuals called the Chimera. So... This really interests me because I love, like, cults. I think cults are very fascinating, how they rise to power. And this cult, the Chimera, is super-powered people that rely on their senses. And so there's going to be, you know, one that focuses mainly on sight and probably merges your visions in certain ways that she wants you to see and things like that. And I'm super interested in that concept. I like a lot that they're going to have, like, Who's going to be the hero? Who's going to be the villain? Because in real life, it's not clear cut like it is in some superhero comics. And I like that about independent comics a lot is that you never really can tell who to trust, who to like, you know, most, sometimes you're like rooting for the villain and you don't even know it until the end, you know, and I think that's super interesting. Uh, there is some fantastic variant covers for this comic. There's the cover A. 
And there's a cover B, but done by Christian Ward. And there's a 1 in 25 by Raphael Albuquerque. And a 1 in 50 Christian Ward Virgin cover. There's also a one per store as well. And yeah, th this comic just really fascinates me. But the main reason is, why do I find this book worth reading? It's probably like the big purpose of this uh, video. So, taking away the fact that I am a huge bun reader and that I would probably read a lot of horror comics that he would just release, uh, but he's he's coming out with a lot more horror comics, but I specifically picked Basculus for a reason. Uh, so Boom Number Ones has been incredibly hot recently, uh, especially ones that you wouldn't normally think would be super hot have been very popular. And that's mainly due to the fact of Berserker releasing. Uh, so since Berserker and Keanu Reeves released, I've had more and more people interested in independent comics, and I absolutely love that. And people are not sticking with Boom because they really like Berserker. So if they're willing to read Berserker, they are willing to try new number ones. And I think a lot of Boom number ones, they specialize in really uh, making the secondary market flourish by having a specific aspect about them or a specific storyline about them that makes them different and unique. And I definitely think this comic will be one of those because you know, there's not many cult comics out there. There's not many dark horror comics anymore that are really out there. There is a couple, and I do like them a lot. Uh, but Boom especially has not put out a darker comic since about Something's Killing the Children. They put out a lot more lighthearted, uh, all-ages comics, which I do like a lot. Uh, like Wind and things like that. I, I think they're fantastic. I have nothing against them. But I do think this one stands out a little more just because of how different it really is. And I do think that Cullen Bunn is going to bring a unique twist or a unique flavor to this comic, and it's going to make it very popular and going to have people that wouldn't pick up a number one independent comic, and they are going to for this one. So I've ordered pretty heavily for this. I have a lot of faith in this one. I do think it's going to be close to, if not exactly like, you know, Something's Killing Children or We Only Find Them When They're Dead. Things that, like, made a lot of copies. I, I've heard that it has already reached over 50,000 copies on Diamond. So, I mean, it's obviously piqued interest in a lot of people. And I do think it's going to be a sleeper for about the first week. But then once people hear about it, everyone's going to want to grab their cop. So, yeah, I hope you check out this comic book on June 2nd, 2021. And be sure to pre-order at your local comic book shop. I know the FSC just passed, but I'm sure they ordered plenty. And the sooner you get in, the more they can order it for you. All right. Have a great day. Please be sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Have a good one.